Hi Aries, my name is Megan and welcome to your reading for the month of November. Before we get into the cards, I just want to clear the energy, so please be mindful if you are wearing headphones. Alright Aries, let's see what's going on for you this month in November, the overall energy. Aries. Beautiful. You guys got the sun card. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. I love this. The sun card in the tarot, even though these are oracle cards, is literally the best because it signifies like growth and abundance and success. So let's get a message from the book on this. The sun card will bring great joy to your life. You can expect to be happier, more fun, loving, and self-confident. The sun basically shines on your life and personal growth speeds up immensely. This card also enhances creative thinking and you will be able to open up your feelings and communicate better than in the past. The time is right for taking holidays too, so go and book that cruise, overseas trip, or romantic getaway. And the personal and relationships advice says, For single searching for love, it is very possible you will find a brand new relationship that will be fulfilling and exactly what you are looking for. Those in existing relationships could reignite the passion and rifts from the past could finally be forgiven. There is enormous growth for married couples seeing each other in a fresh light. Great accomplishments surround difficult relationships with friends or family members. This is a truly wonderful time for those feeling a little lost or lonely to join local clubs, sporting activities, or even charitable functions because it is certain you will find like-minded people to form firm friendships with. And the career and money advice is... Kicking a goal on the work front makes others proud. This is a great card if you're looking for a new job. It could be just around the corner, and the money being offered is a lot better than usual. Now is also an ideal time to start a small business or learn different skills. Wow. Beautiful. All right, Aries, let's get the current energy as well as the challenges and the opportunities for you this month. And the overall advice for November. All right. We have looking ahead plan for the future love that especially linking into the sun card with about opening your heart to enormous growth ahead so you guys are <laughs> i'm hearing stacking your bread which you know means building your wealth but also you're looking to the future with bright new energy it's like if you've been doubtful about your future this month is really helping you to see things from a different light where you're looking ahead with positive eyes rather than negative eyes. Ending and beginning. Close one door and open another. Yeah, so you guys during this month, I do feel are going to be making some shifts and changes, ending certain relationships or ending jobs possibly so that you can move into something that's more in alignment with your highest and greatest good. If you've been on the fence about closing this door, this month I feel is giving you that boost, that blessing, if you will, to really push forward into that energy of making that final decision. Stay safe. Protect yourself now. Yeah, so with this decision, this ending and this beginning, closing that door, the challenge for you guys is going to be walking through that door and actually just being like, F it, I'm going to just do it, right? And know that you're going to be safe on the other side of that door. If you are neglecting to walk through that new door or to close that chapter because of fear of what's coming after that, you're not ready to make that choice. You have to move through that fear. And sometimes you have to just 
F with yourself and be like, you know what? I'm going to really challenge myself. I'm going to push past these fears. I'm going to walk through that door anyway, even though it feels scary, even though I don't know what's on the other side of that. I'm getting this intuition that I need to just do it, so I'm going to do it, and I know spirit has my back, and I will not fall. I will be protected. I will be guided, and I will be safe if I make this choice or this decision. Yes, you're pushing through the fear, but don't have fear back you when you push through that fear. Have faith back you. That's what I want to say. Have faith and take that leap of faith, right? And walk through it with faith and uh, knowing that everything's going to be okay rather than, oh my gosh, if I do this, my whole world's going to fall apart because that'll be what you attract in, right? Harvest time, your hard work pays off. Yeah, so you taking that leap of faith is really opening you up to beautiful new beginnings, blessings coming in for you, you know, linking into this sun card here with this yellow again. It's like the yellow, the sunshine energy links into the solar plexus, which is your power center. So having faith in who you are as the creator, that you have all the tools and the resources that you need to make this happen for you. And it's about maintaining faith in spirit and yourself and just keep pushing through it until you see that payoff. You know, walking through new doors is not easy because sometimes we have to start completely over. You know, if we're starting a new relationship or if we're starting a new job, taking that leap of faith, we have to start from square one, working our way through the fool's journey. You know, in the tarot card, we start with the fool and then we end at the world card with completing those goals. And then we start back over with the new journey of the fool. So, you guys are coming into the full energy of starting this new chapter, but it's about having faith that it's going to work out, having faith that your hard work is going to pay off and that everything's going to be in alignment for you because you have the overall energy of the sun, which means that it's going to work out. You have growth coming. You have success coming. So just believe in that. Surfacing again, hidden things come out. So this could be fears surfacing. This could be things from the past that you need to let go of, look at, heal, clear before you close that door. So I do feel that this is not a negative thing, but it could be you guys being tested when we are being faced with ending cycles, breaking those karmic cycles and having the courage to let go of that fear and move into a new beginning. We will be tested. There will be things that surface that test us so if we're trying to walk into a chapter of letting go of an addiction, we will be tested with that addiction. We will be triggered with, are you really ready to let go of this? Same thing with a relationship or with a job. You'll have certain things come up that test you on, are you really ready for this? Or are you going to repeat another karmic cycle of the same thing and walk through another cycle of that before you're ready to move into a new energy? So just know that if things come up, it's not meant to deplete you or take you off course. It's just meant to really challenge you to where you have more faith in yourself and more trust. It's like about developing trust within yourself and spirit to be like, no, I know that this is going to work out and anything that's coming to the surface that's trying to scare me or trigger me or challenge me or test me, I will move through it and I will breathe through it and come out the other side of that energy. So let's get tarot for clarity here. Aries, November. Or how did I want to do this this way? Okay. I like to take the cards as they come out. All right. So we have Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about looking ahead, planning to the future, realizing that you have all the resources at your disposal that you need to make this happen for you. It's about staying grounded and centered within your energy and having a positive mindset, having, you know, an energy about you that knows that beautiful blessings are coming in because the rainbow signifies abundance, prosperity, blessings coming in. And the Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. She uses all of her resources to bring about abundance. And 
This could also be about fertility for some of you, looking ahead, planning for a family in the future. So take heart resonates. Nine of pentacles. Oh, I love this with ending and beginning, close one door and another opens. So nine of pentacles, this is about luxury. This is about financial pleasures, really feeling independent here being able to support yourself financially, being independent financially, and being completely within this energy of, okay, how do I say this? You have the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So it's like you have all the tools, the resources you need to make this abundance for you, to make this independence for you, to make this wealth for you. And it's about really grounding in your manifestations this month, really visualizing that, having faith in that vision and not doubting that that's a possibility for you so that you can move into that independent version of you. Oh my gosh, the wheel of fortune. Love this. Stay safe, protect yourself now. Yeah. So when you guys have faith and you take that leap of faith, the Wheel of Fortune is about luck returning to you. This is like you taking a gamble on life and it turning in your favor. You have beautiful things happening for you on the other side of that door that you're hesitant to walk through right now. Yeah, harvest time, hard work pays off. So judgment, this is awakening you to more in life. The owl in this card, I don't know if you can see in the top tree there. The owl signifies wisdom. This is awakening you to your potential, to your life purpose, to your destiny. It's pulling you out of this slumber, out of this Groundhog Day energy, moving you into alignment with your highest and greatest good, moving you into alignment that links up with all of your desires and all of the manifestations that your higher self wants to accomplish in this lifetime. So you guys are moving into a timeline where it's very abundant and you're starting to, it's like the seeds that you've planted over here with the queen of pentacles. It's like you're moving into this energy where you're going to harvest those manifestations and they're going to turn into fruition. They're going to become physical you know, it's like you're planting the seeds and now you're going to harvest those manifestations. Five of wands under surfacing again, hidden things coming out. So this is just energy to challenge you, to test you. But these challenges, these obstacles are not going to deter you. They are just meant for you to really have one final swing at it. One final go with that energy before you're like, you know what, I'm completely putting this to bed, completely putting this to rest. I don't need to battle with this energy. I don't need to go on another karmic lesson or karmic cycle with this energy. I'm done with it. I'm walking away from it and ready to move into this next chapter. All right, let's get tarot clarity here with the major arcanas. See what other advice Spirit has for you for November. Aries. November. Okay. All right. So we have the emperor. Yes. So it's about you guys getting into your strength here, getting into your power. The emperor is like that king on the throne. He's on the throne and he's wearing armor underneath his cloak. So he's ready for battle, but he doesn't need to go into battle because he's very methodical and thinks strategically. He's like that father figure energy. So he really thinks things through before he takes action. So you guys are coming into this energy where you're looking to the future. You're looking at your life through a different lens. And you're not going to make foolish decisions. You're really taking things to heart before you make any decisions. So it says using your authority and power to lead with grace. Yeah. So you guys are making decisions that are for the benefit of you and others around you. And it's not foolish decisions. It's like really thought out decisions that would benefit the realm, right? Would benefit all of that um, the, the realm of the town, right? The king has to look out for the people in his uh, town and make sure that the decisions he's making is for their benefit if he's a good king, right? So this is you kind of being that energy of doing 
things from a perspective, like taking action with a perspective of that king or queen type mentality of, is this really in my highest and greatest good if I make this decision or if I take this action? Ooh, hanged one. Letting go gives you a new perspective. We were just talking about that with the perspective shift. Yeah, so all of this is teaching you guys how to come above, how to rise above the challenges and look at it from a bird's eye view and really see it from that angle or that perspective so that you can really gain all the knowledge and the wisdom of what's truly going on rather than being down within the chaos level of not seeing things from the level that you could if you rise above the challenge, right? So weaving your web, it's like with this wheel of fortune, I'm seeing like a web here and the webs that you weave in life can either trip you up or really bring in more blessings for you. So yeah, it's about what are you trying to catch in your web? Are you trying to catch things in your web that are going to nourish your soul or are you trying to catch things in your web that would cause more chaos energy, right? So the decisions you making are what manifest things to you that are either in alignment with your highest and greatest good or taking you back into a timeline of struggle, of lower vibrational energy. Yeah, the full card here with new beginnings. I believe we were talking about that in the beginning of this reading with the full card um, in the journey of the soul, starting with the full. So yeah, you guys are ready to embark on this new journey, finding hidden treasures in unexpected places. So the fool is you guys ready to step into a new version of you, ready to embark on a new journey, the next chapter. It's like when we go through school in life, you know, we we go through tests and challenges. Like when we're in level one, we get tests, we get lessons that are meant for that level one experience. And then we graduate into level two or grade two, and then we have different lessons, different tests to see if we've learned from the level two training before we graduate into level three and so on and so forth. So it's the same thing with your soul. Your soul will go through from the fool all the way up through the tarot journey, all the way up through the world card where you end that karmic cycle or that lesson and you graduate out of that level of experience. And now you've elevated your spirit into a new level of opportunity and experiences where you're going to be challenged in a new way, given new lessons, new tests for your soul's greatest good and for your soul's growth and evolution, right? And we do this incarnation after incarnation after incarnation. We assign ourselves to go through certain levels, certain challenges, certain tests, kind of like a video game, if you will. And when we beat that game or we beat that level, we're ready for the next level. So you guys are coming towards the end of November. You're beating the game that you are currently in or the current level that you're in. You're beating it. You're overcoming it. And you're ready to embark on this new level, this new level of abundance that's you know, like you've learned the challenges, you've learned the karmic lessons, and you're now ready to walk into this timeline where you have the sun returning to you, you have abundance and growth ahead. So this is really beautiful. And I'm sending you so much positive energy. If that resonated, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you in another video. Bye.